Welcome to Coinbook. My name is Calvin Waite, and I'm a professional crypto trader. I really like getting feedback from you guys about the market, what you're trading, successes, failures. So I'm going to go ahead and start giving out a t-shirt every week now. What I'll do is I'll look at all comments from Thursday to Thursday, and then Friday select a random winner. There's only one phrase that accurately describes what's happening on Bitcoin today, and it is good gravy. This is absolutely amazing. We are looking at a Bitcoin price of nearly 17,500. We have seven hours left on the day, so who knows where this is going to go. But when we were looking at this ascending triangle here, um, our target was 17,500, so we have resolved our uh, pattern that we were looking for. It definitely was, it was lackluster uh, for a few days, but wow, the last few days have been pretty explosive. Just keep in mind uh, that the moves down are usually a lot larger than the moves up, but that uh, when we get up to the top of a run, sometimes these bars can stretch out so if we see a couple of large bars in a row um, things might be starting to get a little tipsy so uh, be very careful we're going to go into further analysis later in this video but wow we are looking amazing if i add our lines we are still not crossed below this really steep uh, support line so it there's there's no sign in the charts anywhere that um that our turnaround is imminent, but we'll look a little further here just in just a second. So with Bitcoin on the rise, our altcoin market cap is at about uh, 9.42 million Bitcoin and dropping. So we lost this point here. Our final point is this, and it looks like we will likely be breaking down through this if we look at a little bit more macro perspective on the entire Bitcoin dominance chart, it looks like our our most likely touch will be right at 68%. So we are likely going to move about 2% of the entire total market cap into Bitcoin, and alts will uh, will absorb the loss on on that. So it's going to be a little bit rough for a little bit longer on the altcoin markets. Interestingly, though because of this um, action right here where we had some drops pretty quick there were a couple of altcoins that gathered some footing and so even though the majority are selling off there's still quite a few 10 percent gainers out there today and some of the coins that i had mentioned in my previous videos are looking pretty good so it's kind of kind of cool you just you know we're just watching this we're not trying to force anything but we are certainly watching for structure and and looking for the support that that we need this is what everyone holding bitcoin looks like today how could we talk about anything besides bitcoin today wow 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 okay so i have done a little bit of um we're going to do a little bit more of a deep dive on what to expect leading up to our all-time high anyway so i have drawn a golden line on the previous all-time high and in 2013 and the previous all-time high in 2017. so these lines are what we are looking for and what we're what what we're watching for is what happened on the way up you can actually see pretty well and we're on the weekly chart by the way but you can see how this this period of time leading up to that all-time high was pretty wild so let's look a little bit further on this let's let's zoom in and look at the daily during that time frame so let's let's get out here and take a look at how this played out and there's a lot to learn from this this move 
this this uh, trading action right here feels very familiar and I want you to see what a shock this would be for investors that are unseasoned and don't know how to trade or don't don't realize that things don't go up forever this euphoria blinds almost everyone it takes a very professional very seasoned trader to see these things but if we if we take just the close the close of this candle down to the bottom this was a 20% drop this would have shocked a lot of people and the next day we we did close at 20% so our worst case was 32% this was a uh, you know definitely sudden and interestingly enough these bottoms here touched our line back back here so we we completely erased everything that we did leading up to this uh, coming all the way back down and then it took us it took us weeks and weeks and weeks to attempt it again and when we finally did attempt it and broke through we still weren't out of the woods look at this next action so we had this wild thing on this day intraday people were probably getting so excited hey we just got a new all-time high everything's so exciting <laughs> and look at this drop here this drop was 27 percent of course this is going to be an unrealistic drop so let's take it from let's take it from a, a realistic place and we'll just head to the bottom like the worst case scenario is 30 percent 27 25 so we had two 30% drops in a row in this wild ride coming up here and you'd think you think that as everyone gets to the all-time high that oh man we're gonna break this especially here we're gonna we, we closed above it guys this is we're there and then we had this giant indecision candle we had a we had a, a sell-off and then okay now we're good now we're good for sure and no we had we had to have these wild swings <laughs> and it was and all the way until this point when investors were like okay i believe it now it took one two three times before investors were like okay i believe that this really is the top and we found the all-time the prior all-time highest support and then we launched and this launch was crazy because it was a it was a three x two and a half times return from our line. It just and this is exactly what I'm expecting once we get the proper structure in our chart. But look what we're doing now. This is the the chart formation that is happening leading up. Um, you know what? Let's do it even better. Let's do this. Okay. So I've split the screens and hopefully this will be a little bit easier to follow. So current day is right here. And what I've done is I've put a line. So this is this is the line we've always had. This is our 123 line that we've been watching. That's our our highest support level that we will have in the most recent past. There's one at 14,000 back further. But I'm going to just redraw that on um, in 2016 to um, leading into the 2017 run so this line is our first line and this is our all-time high that we are coming up on okay got everything lined up as best I can so we are looking at um, this this line is our support and this line was our prior support. We had we had some pretty strong moves, which we can't can't deny. Some of these large candles really are very very powerful moves. Um, there are a couple of differences, but we are going to correct. There's no doubt about it. Let's let's look at a couple of things though, so that we can be as informed as possible. 
when we broke this line, let's say from the last time, it took us 20 days to get to our first high and 27, so another seven days to drop back down to our starting point. Let's let's see how what information can we get when we when we left this line where is 20 days 20 days is right here so we are doing a slower climb right now we are at 28 days so this is definitely a little different um, will we hit will we do a near miss or hit it in the next two or three days it's absolutely possible <laughs> If we keep along this line, we will do it in 46 days. But let's just say for the sake of argument that we, we get there. Now, the faster we get to something, the harder we fall. So if it takes us 30 days, let's say, to get there, um, it could take half that time to, to drop back, and our drop may not be as intense. So. Uh, what I've said all along is that if we correct before 20,000, we will most likely hit this line. If we touch 20,000 or get even near, because of the structure and the, the uh, more time that we've taken to get there, uh, we will most likely correct to 14,000. So what did these, what did, what does this rise look like? This rise here was our, um, from the line to the top is 48%. On this side, from our line to where we currently are, we're at 43. 48% is right about 18,500. So not to say that they're going to be perfect matches, but it would be a 60% move from the line to get us to the very top. And if we if we get if we're going to get about 50% away from our most recent support. Uh, we're in for a quite a surprise. I hope that nobody on my channel is going to be surprised by the correction because they always happen. Whether it's very like strong or powerful or short-lived or long-lived, uh, that's definitely up for debate. But um, the fact is we are going to see some nice downside here pretty soon. And... Um, so I want you to really watch this. We will, we will likely, we will likely get pretty close to this, if not touch it. But I think we will come back down to either this line at 14,000 or our even, even our bottom line. And what does that tell you for the rest of the year? These things do take time. And in our prior in our prior uh, time frame if I zoom in on this the time from our first rejection to really crossing it for the first time was 91 days so if we touch it in the next few days we could have quite quite a, a wild roller coaster, but 91 days will put us at February 18th. So, if we if we get rejected, it's gonna be there's gonna be some recovery time before we can get our our bearings and come back up. But you know, there's a lot of institutional buying. There's a lot of government. There's a lot of interest. Um, I think that it's possible that we'll get there faster. There's a lot more people and a lot more eyes watching Bitcoin than we had before. But man, I just can't, I can't, you just can't underestimate the incredible moves we are making. So on this daily chart, the last thing I wanted to point out to you all is that, look at this. You can see the current price, 17546 See this dotted line right here? We are higher than this swing high. 
were higher than this swing high, there is a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six candles, six daily candles where our intraday high was higher than where we're trading right now. So this is this is phenomenal. But just don't be surprised. <laughs> we will have we will have a turnaround at some point and it's going to be um, it's going to take your it's going to open your mouth just just it's going to surprise people because people are very comfortable and very used to seeing a price above 16,000 and it's amazing how comfortably we put this in our pocket and think it'll never change but we got some we got some downside and uh, the steeper and harder we go it gives you more indication that we're getting to the tail end of it so uh, trade with caution and I really wish everyone the very best as exciting as it is we just have to be very smart and level-headed in our trading okay it is time to separate the coin book trolls from the coin book fans so these are the magnificent t-shirts that we are giving away every Friday these are individually packaged with love from your best friends China there's also this incredible option designed by yours truly and uh, we'll be giving away uh, probably one or two of these every Friday to uh, just a random comment and on any of the videos over the past week but and I don't blame you if you absolutely cannot live without one of these shirts I am willing to part with them for $15 worth of your favorite crypto just reach out to me on social media and we'll we'll get you guys hooked up <laughs>